In this video we will show you how to take the corals from this tank and reproduce them to create other coral tanks. In future videos we will show you how to take clownfish such as these and produce them in captivity. Sarcophytons are one of the natural corals to start with because they are very hardy, they are easy to divide, and they come in many different shapes and forms. The beautiful detail of the polyps reminds me of snowflakes. These polyps are used to capture small plankton but the corals do not need to be fed in captivity because they are able to produce their own food using internal symbiotic algae. These algae and bacteria are one of the most important members of your community. This gold sarcophyton has been propagated before and we will cut it again. Gold Giant Sarcophyton cutting number two. We remove the head with a sharp pair of scissors and we remove the pieces of sarcophyton in triangle shaped cuts. It's important that we leave a piece of the stalk, the underside of the cap, and the top of the cap on each cutting. We prepare the bridal veil netting by cutting it into one quarter inch wide strips. These strips will be used to hold the cutting onto the reef plug until it is healed. We apply a small amount of super glue and we cover the middle of the cutting with a small strip of bridal veil netting and pull it tight. We repeat this process with each of the cuttings. It is important that you place the cutting back into the water within a few seconds because the super glue starts to heat up. This is how the cutting will heal after approximately four weeks and after eight weeks it will look like this and you will have two small sarcophytons on each plug. You can see how these little colonies will grow into nice large sarcophytons. One of the most important things to do when you're raising soft corals is to keep the tank fairly nutrient rich by having fish in the tank. 